Hey everybody, this is Rado, and today we're going to spotlight Big Thinker's first grade. It's going to take just a minute to show how to get this to run using the Scum VM emulator because it never really works for me when you just try to hit play on Steam. You can get the game files through Steam, it doesn't really matter where you get them. You may very well have a CD of this game from when it came about 22 years ago or 20 years ago. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think it's 20 years ago. Anyways, to get it to run, you click Add Game, then browse to your hard drive, C Program Files, x86 now, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Big Thinkers, First Grade, click Choose, and then leave everything for me. I leave it alone, except for I override the graphics to high quality 3x, so it looks a little bit better. Audio, I leave alone. Volume, I leave alone. Pass, I leave alone. Hit OK. And then on the default options, I make sure aspect correction and full screen mode are disabled because that would mess it up. And I'm just going to have the text and subtitles uh, both on. It might behoove you specifically in this game to only have speech enabled instead of subtitles because sometimes it asks you a spelling game and if the subtitles tell you the spelling of a, a word, then the children you're, who are playing this game might be able to cheat a little bit. Everything else, for the most part, is left alone. Uh, I don't think I ever set up any of these other things. Uh, so we'll leave it alone and just hit cancel. And then you hit start. Then you hit alt enter to go in the full screen mode. And then you've got it. So, Ben, I see a first grade big thinker. Sign right in. Click these letters to spell your name. Click on the stars to color the letters. If you make a mistake, click on this eraser. Click delete if you want to remove a name. Click here to choose a brain bank. Your brain bank is where you collect all the smart stars you earn around our house. Oh, and don't forget to tell us when your birthday is right here. We'd love to celebrate it with you. You can click here to see your smart chart. It keeps track of all the stars you earn. When you're ready to start, click Let's Play. So, an amazingly long intro here. Uh, sure, this first setup doesn't happen after the first time, but uh, when you're ready to start, let's see. But it's still a lot of choice going on here. We'll choose the monkey, and we'll set this Second, as the ninth, fifth, sixth, seventh, which eight, is the day nine. I'm recording this. But it probably won't do anything because when I did this in Big Thinkers Kindergarten, it only recognized that it was your birthday the second time you loaded in, and it just had a. If you've been here before, just uh, click on your name and let's play. I am trying to find the mouse. Where is the mouse gone? Come on, mouse. Seriously, let's see. Up, 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 down, down, down. If this is your first left, time visiting left, us, left. enter a new name. Right, right, right. What is going on here? My mouse has disappeared completely. Hmm. And how could when that be? When you're ready to start, click Let's Play. There it is, finally! I had to turn off my mouse and plug it back in. Maybe my batteries are dying. So, let's click Let's Play. You can do amazing things at our house. Go ahead and click anywhere. There's lots to discover. Every game is a chance to earn Smart Stars, the sign of success. Which you can check any time. None yet. Collect enough Smart Stars, and you can take the Superstar of Smarts Challenge. When you click on Ben or me during a game, we'll try to give you some help. Once you've been to a few places, 
Think and Go makes it easy to get around. In some activities, you can choose how hard you want it to be by clicking here. And here's the exit door. With one click, you can leave us as you please. Now let's look around and find some fun. Wherever the arrow turns into a star, there's something fun to do. And some smart stars. So it seems like they've done a lot of improvement here at the beginning just to explain things. And we can go down here and get the menu uh, by default. I don't feel like any of that was in the kindergarten version of this. They just kind of ran left. It felt more like random. And the Brightly household here, which is their last names, uh, has definitely changed. But it's the same area. I, it's probably a decent... It's not a good thing, but it, it's an acceptable thing in my mind that they just didn't go on to a second degree, second grade, third grade, fourth grade. Because even if the kids only played this like once or twice a month or a quarter, I think they'd just be bored of this game by the even the second year. I'm not sure that they would be able to even pass first grade have any attention span for doing this edutainment thing. Uh, anyways, when is your birthday? There's a cake that was hidden here. At least it was when Abraham I... Abraham Lincoln here. Mm -hmm. I was the 16th president of the United States. That is wrong. The subtitle said 14th. He was the 16th president, but the subtitle's wrong. Roger Houston, uh, this is Neil Armstrong. You read. Interesting. So you can click on Hi, certain I'm things. I'm Amelia Earhart, and one of the most famous airplane pilots in history. Still probably true. Uh, so, so factually inaccurate statement in the subtitles there. Uh, but we've got a lot to check out. Let's see all these games. See, like Ben's room was hidden kind of over here, and it's now missing. Interestingly enough. Painting is one of my favorite activities, so I always keep a paintbrush handy. Hmm. And they're just gonna say things when we click there on them? There are five different colors of smart stars. Let's go find some of each. Hmm. Yes. So, the one thing that you still kind of can tell is that without a kid being specifically directed to things, uh, is this the Superstar Challenge right here, or is this a different thing now? Let's start on the left and find out. Let's see what this I is. I love getting mail. Let's go see if we have any. Can they go out the window to check the wow. mailbox? There are all kinds of picture postcards in here. We can put them in our Brightly album. Good thinking. I'll pull out postcards one at a time. You take each one by clicking on it. Then put it in the right place here in our album. Hmm. Grandma Belle wrote us. I just love her cooking. So... Rice. Rice. Rice would be a grain. What hmm. type does this look like? Cheese. Dairy food. What type does this look like? Ice cream. Dairy food. Where would this one go? Butter. Dairy food. It's Grandma Belle. Chicken. Meat. What type does this look like? What is that? Is that beans? Cereal. Cereal. Oh, that would be a grain then. Oh, let's see what Grandma Belle is cooking up now. Grandma Bees. So Grandma Belle seems to have quite the cooking I'm ability. I my hand the last postcard for these pages. Steak. So we're doing the game like this, and we'll get some stars. Cousin Billy sends word from his world travel. Now, Cousin Billy. Satellite. I guess we'll have to do two of these. Helicopter. Hmm. What type does this look like? Hot air balloon. So. Here's something it's different. It's kind of a tough decision. Rocket. To decide whether one of these games would be for Lunar kindergarten module. or for first grade. Here's a neat one. I could kind of see why this is is first grade, but Here's a neat only one. slightly. Airplane. Maybe the wor more we words, more vocabulary words 
are happening in cheer. this puzzle. You've got everything here. Yippee! Smart stars. But doesn't feel like a kindergartner might would really have too much problem uh, doing this puzzle, depending on the kindergartner. Frankly, the difference between uh, what you do in kindergarten and what you do in first grade probably isn't too much, really. Uh, I always thought it was kind of funny they did graduation ceremonies for kindergartners and such as if they'd really accomplished much of anything. You, you, you practically are, don't fail kindergarten. We'd love to see some of your artwork in our living room. If you I've do, it's it's for behavior. Or maybe Pick up any tool to find out a what really it bad teacher, I'm your mean teacher. Click on me to choose the color you want to paint. When you're hmm. finished painting, click anywhere else in the room. So this is a painting Paint skill. You can make the end of the brush thicker or thinner with the plus and minus buttons. So thicker. When I have to keep up the creative work, and you'll earn some yellow smart stars. And I'm not sure I particularly Orange. like this idea of using the girl as a palette. And boy, do you not really have any opportunity here? I mean, let's see. The mystery balloon. Mystery balloon does different backgrounds, I suppose. Hmm. Seems like there's probably a limited selection here. Hmm. Hmm, it's a pretty good selection, actually. Hmm. I wonder if my pictures are gonna stay the, this way. Paint tube. Now you can make tube. different shapes anywhere on your painting. Pick the sh red. Okay, so you have to with the paint tube you have to choose different shapes. So it's like a stamp, not a paint tube. That that's a really odd way to explain things. Then paint balloon. This will paint the whole canvas one color, any color you pick. Why? And that just starts over effectively. What's it going to make this time? What's it going to make this? And how much painting paint does the brush one really size need if you to want do? When you're when you're finished painting, click anywhere else in the room. Green. And so you just, I mean, you could do a little bit here, but you're far from having the full screen to your availability. This is way worse than the coloring uh, flood fill that we saw in the Let's Explore, and worse than the, the Big Thinker's Kindergarten version. So it almost feels like maybe two different teams Purple. Uh, made the same game at the same time which often is the case in video game creation and that certainly uh, is a problem that happens a lot is having this crazy system where an A team and a B team makes makes games while they're uh, they're supposed to be sequels to each other, and I can't see how this wouldn't be considered a For sequel. For all your creative work, you deserve a smart star! And I only got one smart star for that. I wonder if I spent more time, would it give me more? You can paint what? for us anytime. And see, it doesn't change, so your painting just stays there. And that seems like a cool idea, but why not go into full screen? Why not give me a pencil? Why not give me straight line abilities? Uh, that certainly doesn't work. It seems like for this screen, there's only two activities. And when we, if we come back down this way, man, you have got to go really low uh, 
to get it to work. We can see there's three of one of the purple stars and one of the yellow stars, and there's three other classes of stars we haven't even done yet. Hmm. Let's move on to what was the kitchen. It's still the kitchen. In our kitchen. I don't know. Let's look around and find out. So they moved things around. So the clock was in the main room before. Let's see if it's the same clock activity. Now it's time for time. The clock is accurate each of again. My clock hands and set them to the time you think nice. looks right. Where should my clock hands be when it's 12:30? Hmm. Let's see. 12. 30. To the minute! You can see on the stove how that time would look on a digital clock. Can you point the hands on my clock to 5.30? This is a lot better transformation, putting the clock in his chest versus his head. It looked very disconcerting, possibly even traumatizing to have time a kid play answer. this. What was it? 5.30? Perfect timing! Any time between midnight and noon is called AM. What would the clock look like at 2.30? So they're throwing in this extra information Great that's job. not going to help anything. Any time between noon and midnight is called PM. The time has come for more smart stars! So two smart stars relatively easy there. And it didn't seem like there was a difficulty Set my clock hands setting to here. 430. I guess there is. Hey. Medium. Hardest. Beginning. Medium. Hardest. That is a strange option there. Beginning, medium, and hardest. That, how about easy, medium, difficult? Or... <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Let's Can see you what set the, the clock to one half hour before nine o'clock? One half hour before nine o'clock would be eight. The 30. time is right. That is Two quite... more right, and you'll get smart stars. Let's see. If Grandma Bell bakes her famous homemade cookies for one half hour, starting at three p.m. When would she take them out of the oven? Three thirty. Terrific. Any time Man, this is probably beyond, is PM. way beyond what, what a first year grader one would be talking about. 3.30, one half hour before that would be 2.30. One half hour before 3.30 would actually be 3 o'clock. Right on time! 3 p.m. is when Grandma Bell bakes cookies. Sure, any time is a good time for smart stars! But now would be the best! And see, that gave me four smart stars, so playing it on the more difficult levels all of a sudden makes a lot more sense. Can you set the clock to one half hour hmm. after six o'clock? But is that a global difficulty thing? Oh. What a fun time! And you just click away from it, Those no exit. Those shapes give me a big idea. It's time for some magnet moving. You can make this picture by covering it with the shape magnets along the bottom. Just point my finger at any shape you want to pick up. If you want to turn this shape, click it on the arrows. So... Interesting here that they have a full screen version of this. And yet I got it. They that did works. not use that for the coloring. Perfect fit. They wanted to differentiate it, I suppose, and in doing that they've really given you a less successful version. Hmm. This is this Again, Use first the grade. arrows to turn this shape another way. Stuff and... You're looking in great shape for some smart stars. Obviously, like, first grade was a long, long time ago, so... I don't remember what it was, nor is it the same these days, so I'm not sure. Again, use the arrows on the new button. So it's amazing new. what you can build new. And what is create? Are you sure you want to clear everything on the page? And so if you were going to create your own... That works. 
and then use this use to this. fill the shapes with any purple. But only the foreground color. And then when you make one, I I'd suppose, be glad to color any shape for you with the eyedropper. What is this? This looks like it's just a thing holding it to the wall. No! Are you sure you want to build one of the pictures? This will clear off anything you're working on. So... No! No! It seems like it's it... It's fun working on this together. Seems like you have to go through the whole list, too, to do them. Yeah, that, that was fun! Fine enough. No, no difficulty probably in that level. And let's see, we can go to this memo board and we may have to because the next thing is just a pantry. Let's see what the pantry things are first. We love your help putting things in order. <laughs> Whoa, what happened in here? Somehow everything got mixed around. The jars on each shelf of our pantry should spell a word. I'll pick up the first yellow jar you click. I'll pick up the next one you click. Then we'll swap them. And let's see. Medium. Hardest. Switch it to now the hardest. Now let's pick up some longer words too. That'll make things tougher. So they changed the words now. And so I'm trying to now... R Dr to put it something like G this. H if you find four words, they may not be the words we're thinking of. N D S H N D and see, you have to switch things around, so... T-H! Here. That should be four words. You put them in order! The words Becky and I were thinking of are... Bend! Shoot! Droop! Boot! We have to do it twice. Let's see. You have truth, talk, some. Let's see. T H. Th you could do truck. C K. K T H. Truth, truck, sunk, and train. It N K. Unk. A lot of talking going on here. A lot of music going on here. No now option to turn the music it. off, the except for Becky and I through the of Scum VM engine truck, itself, trim, which sunk. you can certainly change before I you launched you it, but you can't change I'm it in the game. Now. It has to be smart wow, smart. that was the wrong subtitle. Uh, four smart styles for doing this on mode. Seems kind of strange that they're not doing any five letter words. Ah, here they are. I knew that it was eventually going to happen. Let's this game for now. Alright. So let's see where this takes us. This is just the credits. So we're not going to sit here and say that watch the credits. And that means we can go to the next place. And we're outside in the backyard again. You found your way to our backyard. All kinds of animals live back here. Your birthday surprise is out here somewhere. Click around to find it. Ah, so my birthday surprise is here. Somewhere. And notice you can't go in the forest like you could in the kindergarten. Apparently it's acceptable for kindergartners to wander around in the forest. Not acceptable for first graders. Hmm. Interesting. So, let's click on things and see if we can find them. Find our birthday surprise. And the, these kids are really impatient with the tapping of their toes. Hmm. Where could it be? 
And there's a new pathway here that I don't believe was in the kindergarten version. And the birthday surprise should come out somewhere here. There's a bunch of ants in this in this thing. Is it something in the flowers? There we go. So happy birthday to me. And that's all you really get for it being a birthday. Let's celebrate! Mm. A little bit of balloons. So what are the actual activities here? We have... Well, it doesn't seem like you can go into this at all. So the maze section that was in the kindergarten section is missing. It doesn't seem like there's a flower section here. There is this and this. And as far as I can tell, for this section, they, that's it. Just the lake and the farm. Let's go to the lake. That's our frog pond. Let's hop to it. Pond, whatever. Hey, everybody. Look who's here. Are we ever glad to see you, Becky? A lily pad of a No This problem. looks like a real I game. I clean them up. That would be great. It's sort of cycling oh, base thing. Hop me around one pad at a time to any piece of litter. Then hop me to the bin where it belongs and we'll toss it in. So this is a full sort. Um, Uh-oh. It looks like I can only hop on each lily pad once. We better think carefully about the path we take. Hmm. And again, if we come down here, can we make this more difficult? Medium. Harder. And when you change the difficulty, it just resets. Wow. This is as tough as the recycling gets. You'll get five smart stars every time you clear all the litter. And it seems like the color-coded things very well may help a little bit. There's only one piece of trash. A two-liter soda pop. Well, pop would not go in plastic. It would go in paper. I mean, paper would go in plastic. You got it. So the plastic stays around, right? So if I come down this way and get this, and come down here, this is going to be quite a difficult chance. Right. A can. Where should we put what? That's the right bin. Ooh, this is this is close to impossible. Watch. Like this is a game over scenario. I pick a up photo. this and I can't put it in there. Probably because I played poorly. But even if I was gonna try. Like I'm totally out of options. What happens when we go and try and pick up something we already have? First, I have to find the right bin for what I'm already holding. Yep. So, a very logical puzzle there. And that, again, is that a first grade level Beginning. difficulty even on the hardest? Or does that go into third, fourth, fifth grade? More litter uh, to pick up. I've seen that in some of these kids games that if you do play on really hard levels, it seems like it's enough of a challenge that even an adult who's job. been out of school for a while right might thing. have enough of a challenge that they could be a slightly job. entertained by it. Nice going. Jump for joy. You've earned yourself more smart stars. So doing it on easy gives you three, where you would have gotten five for doing it on hard. It's probably quicker time to to play it on easy several times. Try to clear the lily pads now. Good luck. So see you later. Catch you on the flip side. A lot of places don't have sorting of recycling. 
some places don't have recycling again it seems like Sounds like an audience gathering for your big performance uh, Becky they're pushing that a little bit but probably not a bad thing recycling we're good. live on stage at the barn ready to make some music it's fun when Becky sings you can make up a song for her by clicking the piano keys or push this button to choose a song she already knows so interesting what does this do that button changes the voice Becky uses. Interesting. So she's got several different voices. Oink, 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 And then we'll go back down. And see that sounds not like a sheep as much as a as it sounds like just a synth thing. Here's an opera singer. Wasn't really expecting that. I thought it would be a fish. We're certain you'll like this next song. And let's see, I did so many just things that gave me smart stars. Just out of the blue, that, I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. And these half step keys work too. Yeah, I don't know how many people would really want to listen to this though. I think kids would probably find it funny for a second, but then let's play it back and just hear it. Oink, 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 let's turn up that oink, tempo oink, 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 oink. to the max. And then there's like pauses as the game is loading or something, loading in different voices. It takes the it takes the engine a long, long time, and that that's problematic. Or maybe it's recording when I how long it takes me to play the piano. But if it was recording the pauses on I how long like it took to put to, to play it, put in the inputs then there should be pauses that showed up all on this staff, and that's not right. Each picture on this button is a different song. To hear the song, press the play button. Here's a song I think you'll know. Mary Had a Little Lamb. Hmm. Oink, 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 Like oink, some of the oink, 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 notes oink, aren't playing. Oink, and can I hear that in a different voice? And now, Mary had a little lamb. See, it's just not playing some in the same place. What's this one? For her next song, Becky will perform Pop Goes the Weasel. Pop Goes the Weasel. This is really awful. What's this one? Here's a song I think you'll know. Old MacDonald had a farm. And maybe it's the tempo? These arrows change the tempo of Becky singing. Hmm. Let's see. This will be music to your ears. Smart stars! We're getting more smart stars for just doing this. <laughs> Here's a song I think you'll know. Row, row, row your boat. La, 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 Yeah, this game feels like it's totally cheating. That's called a music staff. The notes you play appear there. What's this song? For her next song, Becky will perform Rara Jaka. Okay. 
And then the wheels on the bus. Everybody loves that. For her next song, It'll probably Becky be a bad perform performance of that. The wheels on the bus. Is like when we are here. If we switch to this, and we hit this. And then we click here. Does that do anything? Hmm. No. If you want to stop Becky while she's singing, you can press this button when it shows stop. What's next? La. La. Becky has amazing musical talents. Hmm. That's called a treble clef. Yeah, there's... It's a Sounds really bad me. system here. Just kind of half... Half... Half effort there. Uh, while it introduces some concepts, it's... Miseducating some things, and... Actually poorly educating a lot of things. And it gets a lot... Gets too far away from education, and into just... Like inaccurate information. It's our garage. Lots of tools for learning out here. So we're now in the new area of the garage that wasn't in the kindergarten, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is the star challenge, right here. We've also got TV. We've also got the for sale sign, and we've got. Apparently, we can just magically go through the poster. Let's. I suppose start with this. And see what this is. You've had to work for all your smart stars. Now your smart stars can work for you. And so this is the smart star challenge, which they'll just tell me I don't have the enough of them. The moment you've been working so probably. hard to reach. Time for the superstar of smarts challenge. Superstar <laughs> of smarts Mighty challenge. Low. Which color star? Nobody knows. It's definitely different from the a kindergarten Thinking one. skills challenge. It takes smart star fuel to play the challenge. Now those smart stars are being pumped into my fuel tank. Drive me to the houses with the shapes we need to put together the larger shape below. Alright, so this house? You have to be in front of a house before you can click on it. So we can take this? You have to be in front of a house before you can click on it. You got it! Alright. So... Let's roll! And every Smart step I'm taking is is using some of my uh, fuel. And I may very well just not have Driving enough on. fuel. Good one! Gotta come all the way down this way. Driving on. I'm running low on smart. That works. He's got ten more fuel. I need to get over here. Sure. And so then the question is, can in six moves I get in front of this? Almost out of star fuel. I hope I can make it. Barely. You found them all. You had just enough smart stars. Let's try another part of town. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which color star? Nobody knows. I wonder if the game cheated Art there challenge. and gave me Put the on exact your amount. Cap. We need colors that will mix together to make the colors you see on the large cans. So you need green and orange. We've reached the end of the road because you're out of fuel. You only use up your smart stars when you complete a challenge. Homeward bound. No problem. You can try the so. superstar smarts challenge again. First, let's get more smart stars. You kind of have to go through everything else first uh, before you can 
really deal with it. Oh, there's another one up here. Interesting. So we got one here, one here, and one up here. Let's start with this. I've always wanted to be on television. Uh, yeah, you probably have to put a good hour or two Hello, worth of play time before you had enough to do a decent lab. amount of the Superstore Challenge. You I'm not sure there is actually an end. Say hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Ben will say the word for that picture. And then I'll ask you if a certain sound comes at the beginning, middle, or end of that word. That's this definitely feels like more of a first grader quest uh, challenge than a kindergarten middle challenge. Although, again, it's really hard for me to tell. Tree. Tree. In which part of the word do you hear the sound er? In the middle? You got it. All right. Rose. This time the sound is O. In the middle? That sounds right. Bet the middle you have a better chance of winning. Ball. The sound we're looking for this time is B. Is that the first? That sounds right. And, and see, if you're a particularly smart kid, you're going to get ben. irritated now by all the talking. The sound, duh. You got a good ear. Like you can sit here okay. and try and the skip through all of this, but it's not uh, going to. Is that the uh, first sound? It's not going to go through ears. very fast, and it's not going to get quiet. Flower. Now we're looking for the sound. F. You got a good ear. Notebook. In which part of the word do you hear the sound k? So that's the that sounds right. And this is probably one of those that you could change the difficulty. I guess not. Gum. The sound we're looking for this time is hmm. Where in the word could it be? Good one. Kangaroo. This time the sound is a. Kangaroo. <laughs> Boy, that's an annoying sound effect. You come in first. Bring on the smart stars. So four smart stars. Four for a relatively small amount of work. Alright, let's try another one. And then they just throw you into another one without asking, which I probably is the right way to do it, but it's not typically how you would do it these days. You would usually ask, do you want to play some hey, more? Here's a big to idea. Try to limit overplaying uh, the idea of kids spending hours and hours in front of a video game is not ideal We've for to for most parents. Today. And since there's no like the time or anything buy. Then that click inside on that the game, it, it makes it even worse by encouraging it to go. Things. So we need to use all of our coins. That's actually like three things. Let's go to, to the most difficult one. Uh, Prices are getting even higher, hmm. so you'll get four smart stars for every two sales you complete. So I need three things to purchase. If I did one quarter, a quarter, then I could buy a quarter. Am I supposed to buy the most Stop. expensive thing? Enjoy your purchase. And then a quarter a and a vase. Two dimes. It'll take more coins to buy that. Uh, a dime. And let's see. That would leave Jump. me with 19 cents. Can I do that? It's yours. Hmm. Doll. Well, it's 20 cents, isn't it? Let's. Here's your refund. So we need to spend a little bit more. Let's do 30. A nickel. A penny. Four cents. Hmm. Can't do that one. Let's do 31 cents. Can't do that one. I can do 33 cents though. And then you that leaves it. me 12 cents for this. It's a sale. Only one more right and you'll get smart stars. That's quite a difficult thing, but actually very practical. 
or just can you, you budget won't find things like this money? Just any garage sale. Uh, let's see. Almost certainly, with the number of pennies we have, we have this. So. And then, if there was something for twenty-eight, I could get this dime thing. But since there isn't, then there's something for twelve. I'm probably gonna have to do. Which doesn't work because then that it's leaves yours. me with 36 cents. A quarter. Let's see. I'm five cents off somewhere, so let's see. Flower. You don't want that? No problem. We'll refund that. And then if we we're at 29 cents, then we can buy the lava lamp. And then you use the dime it. with the xylophone. Congratulations! You've proven that the customer always comes first. Pretty sure didn't do I didn't do anything in first grade like this. In fact, as far as budgeting goes, I'm not sure I did was taught any budgeting oh, at all until I took accounting item. in high school. Uh, and maybe not even really then. Let's go back. Come on, game. Come again. We have to aim higher. So the third thing we can do is this. Oh, what happened this looks to the like light? some kind I know of how we can turn path it back finding on. maze electricity game. We need to get the right amount of power to turn on the light. Okay. Find the path of numbers that add up to the number on the light bulb. Okay, so this is four. 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 Um, like. We have to reach the light switch with just the right amount of power. You can see how you're doing at the top of the screen. So I'm already at eight, so let's Four. start over. Now let's turn on this light bulb. Four plus four eight. equals eight. It's a little freaky turning into let's electricity. Let's work our way through these numbers. Let's see. Three. Three plus three. Three plus nine. Three. Should work. You've seen the light. What do you think you'll see hmm. next? Mud stars. Let's just see what this would be like on a more difficult level. Imagine the there mediums are not going to be too much differ different. Let's see. Medium. Hardest. There's probably some subtraction in here. Okay, yep. turn on your smart. Now, 13. some of the numbers will have minus signs in front of them. These numbers will subtract from your total. Plus. Turn on two lights, and you'll get five smart stars. Two. This would be this. Two. Plus this. Two. Two. Wait a minute. I'm at 10. Two. 4 plus this would be 14. Two. 16. 16 minus 3 would be Two. 13. Wow. You'd Two. have to go quite far here. Uh oh. Our total power went higher than the light bulb number. We'll have to start over. What? You have to count for that too? How should we go this time? Well, I guess you have to do something two. like this then. Minus three. Two. Two. I can't go to the same spot twice. You can try again by clicking the start over button. So you're going to have to... Let's work our way through these numbers. ...really figure this out. Like, Minus probably go something like this. Minus just to go like this two. to do this two. to go this far two. and I still don't think two. this actually works out the way you'd two. want it minus three hmm minus three Third. I can't go to the same spot twice so, Out like a light. Quite difficult, a puzzle there. Let's move on to the next section. As we're slowly taking more time. So it puts us 
In their playroom. Introducing room. our Hall of High Drinks, our arena of amusement. What Ben is trying to say is, welcome to our playroom. Exactly. Mm. And so they can't go out into the forest. So if you click on it, it just the tree goes away and such. And they're always impatient. I really don't think parents would encourage stamping your foot and being impatient. If it's the one thing you want to teach kids, it's patience. Seems like there's three locations here. Let's see what they are. I'm so excited to do a puzzle with you. I can hardly mm. hold myself together. Mm. We have a puzzle to complete. So the it's below a standard the puzzle jigsaw window. puzzle. If you want a different one, click on the yellow arrow. Use Let's... the arrows to create the puzzle you want to work on this time. Is it going to be jigsaw or is it going to be then press square? Then the new button. Yes, jigsaw. There's a few pieces already in place. Can you finish the picture? Let's see. How difficult does this get? Medium. Hardest. Now it's even tougher. There won't be any outlines on the board to follow. I, I really wouldn't need that, but alright. As long as I know what the picture looks like, this isn't going to take too crazy. You can't put things down, however, where they don't belong, so you are going to have to immediately identify the right location, which for somebody who has done as many start. puzzles as I have over my lifetime is not difficult at all. Uh, in fact, I've done so many puzzles that I've given up on doing them. They're too simple. And, uh, frankly, they're, they're a little frustrating when you don't do them digitally because you almost certainly end up losing a piece every fourth or fifth puzzle you do, which is an annoying and can be easily avoided by just doing a digital jigsaw puzzle. Then you don't have to deal with any You've of got the... A good eye. Uh, any of the pieces moving around getting lost so, uh, or just being a hassle to deal with. Unfortunately, this is gonna take a while though. So maybe I should skip try another it. piece here. Should be one. I don't think this piece goes here. Should be right about there, whatever. Finally. And that one. Can I do this quickly or perfect fit? Is this still gonna take forever? Hmm. No, I don't think it's gonna take too long. Once you have a foundation of almost everything. that one away um, you can start to connect everything easier. that's a funny picture starting to take shape it'll be interesting to see how many different puzzles you can actually have here let's see this piece must go somewhere else let's see uh, and the game's talking to you too much certainly the, the, that's a a continuing problem here of of the game just needs to back off for a while and just say look this is a f supposed to be for first graders it's gonna take them a little bit of time they don't need to to be After you piece it all together this would be a great picture to print out now printing is an interesting factor because now there's no print button anywhere uh, so unless it shows me a print button that it must just mean through the print screen, which I suppose Good we could one. go ahead and hit that and see if the print screen button actually brings up any dialogue or anything. Uh, that might be slightly interesting to find out. Uh, although on Windows 10, who's to say what happens when you hit the print screen button? you piece it all together this would be a great picture to print out 
And see, the game is now encouraging kids to waste ink and paper, which is very expensive, so... Uh, like, most people don't even have printers these days. I've gotten down to the point where I only use it once a year for it's printing really out tax totally forms, and that's about it. Uh, and most people barely even have a reason to have a computer, let alone a printer. A lot of people now can do everything they ever wanted to do simply on their cell phones, which by the way, if you've ever tried to print anything from a cell you've phone, got a good eye. Uh, it takes forever. Uh, incredibly long amount of time. You're on your way to becoming a puzzle master. Bring on the smart star. So five smart stars for that. Not an incredibly difficult puzzle or long puzzle, and it takes up when only half the puzzle, screen. Select a picture and click the with the button. other half of the screen being the pieces and all of these extra things. So I'll just go ahead and hit print screen, and nothing happens. And there's no print button anywhere here. So for every puzzle you complete, you will earn green smart stars. So, like, there's no print option, so she's talking about printing when that's not possible. And it seems like it changes the top half of the puzzle and the bottom half of the puzzles for combinations. Uh, and obviously there's one right combination and then several silly combinations you can mix together. Ready if to you try just your click hand new, puzzle? it's just going to... Uh, give you whatever you made so not really enough variety there and and it's Let's really creepy to see piece. these characters just break apart in the pieces and transform and, and uh, particularly since it's so inconsistent and there's no explanation to it you'll help us pick up our blocks that's great let's move I on to the next thing let's see if I'm a crane, there's a library so after this, the now then there will only be to carry the one more away. area after this. And these two feel like they're the Wonder Twins or something. You call? Right on time. Uh, but Ready even the Wonder loading. Twins Sit kids wouldn't recognize them. Into my three train cars. Fill all the cars to the same level, so each one is completely full. Okay, I'm not going to change block. the difficulty here, but I imagine... We will we'll see it. Well, actually, I think we might just change the difficulty and That's then, a one -half uh, then just exit. Because this is a pretty simplistic uh, game. It's just about fractions and finding equal. You could be an engineer! Links. The education here is still good. I haven't seen anything specifically about the alphabet, so maybe there's a, a by first grade they're saying you should already Ready know the alphabet uh, or counting. Uh, I'm not seeing anything like that. Uh, Medium. Some of the more Hardest. basic things seem to be missing here in favor it's okay of if you have some things. blocks left over now. We may not be able to fit them all in. Let's see. So That's now in the artist block. mode, That's a whole the block. entire level of difficulty hasn't has you been, pick a one quarter block. Uh, has been changed to go down the quarters instead of thirds, and that seems like that's really the only thing that changed. Nothing super difficult about this this puzzle. One four one fours, of course. Uh, kids certainly have difficulty grasping this concept, and even adults still sometimes have difficulty grasping this concept. But it's it's easily depicted here. It's depicted in the right way. What gets people is. A quarter past ten is fifteen minutes, but a quarter of a dollar is is twenty-five I cents. We could do it. That sometimes confuses people who don't grow up in that 
and just know those things. So, yeah, doing a one half in this way. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we do the wrong. We put this in first. Should we pick up a different block? Nope. Should we pick up a different block? It won't let me. It's it's gonna make me start with this end. Hmm. So now we're getting into some geometry on top of fractions, uh, which wasn't really being addressed before. And this music, it just non-stop plays. It never fades out, it never gives a break, it never gets quiet. I can tell by your actions, you sure know your fraction. Mm. Calling Mark Dog. So we'll take all those smart stars. And see, it just wants you to play some more and just make the time go longer and longer. Boy, did it just jump in difficulty. Let's see. Uh, two one sixth equals one third, so you'd have to get like a couple one six with a couple one six with a couple one six to to add up to that one third and then one fourth and man you may even have to combine like a uh that's a two-thirds block. Combine a one-fourth with a one-third or a one-sixth just to figure it out. Boy, Let's that does not track. feel like a first grader uh, puzzle. Uh, it really doesn't. I, I'm not even sure a second or third grader would be able to, to understand all of that. Let's move Looks on like to this. like a painting this. project, all ready to go. And when it comes to painting, I like to dive right in. Here's your chance to create something wonderful for our playroom. You see those symbols on the front of each paint can? Well, all you have to do is click on any can, and then with my hair, paint each shape on the wall that has the same matching symbol in it. If you'd rather create your own picture, push the hide button and all the symbols will disappear. Then you can paint any shape, any color. If you ever want to change the shapes you're painting in, just click the top block. So, this feels very much like a paint by Blue. number flood fill solution. And let's see, can we just drag it? No, you can't. So you're going to have to sit here and do this for a long amount of time. That works. Uh, let's see if you do the wrong thing. No, it, it won't think even. This color goes here. It won't even let you, so right, you could I just try, sit I here try, and, try, and try, just I click try, on I, all I don't this. Don't think this color goes here. And down here is there a difficulty? No. If you just wanted the color. Are you yeah. sure you want to hide the symbols? You color won't be anything? able to get a fresh canvas. Hmm. What's this do? Do you really want to remove all the paint and start a new picture? So what is the difference between clicking the new button and clicking the square? Apparently nothing. Are you sure you want to take all the paint off the wall? You can use the sponge for smaller cleanups. Hmm. And let's see, on the show... That will take all the paint off the wall. Are you sure you want to see the symbols again? Let's start and from the beginning, shall we? And it gets rid of the sponge. We? I feel new inspiration coming on. Ah. Let's start and from it the does beginning. change the size. I feel new shapes. Wow! Coming on. Look at that. A fresh can. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? And if I click new here, a fresh can. It'll change I feel new these shapes. A fresh and canvas. There's probably some image here. I don't here. think this color goes here. Let's see. Apple here. Maybe. Brick red. Yep. So I'm just going like to color in the square and exit. Now we'll see how it looks from a distance. And it just that looks just like that on the wall. Thanks. Again, though, it's still kind of missing a just basic paint option. It's, it's all paint with something else. Let's go to the next room. And we are Ricky in the and library. I get a lot of our smarts from reading books. Here in our library. 
Now before in the Big Thinkers Kindergartners, the credits were was right here on the shelf. We have a globe for some geography, that would probably be helpful. Maybe it's out of date geography, now 20 years old. Uh, there's nothing on the library. There was a book reading section and some interesting. Like, I click read and it just reads. And this is weird. It's just one activity, it seems. Like, as I'm slowly panning over everything else, there's no other star. So no stories, no reading, just this globe. That gives me a great idea. There are so many places to discover all over the world. To spin Frankly, them there's no the places other, on the world to, to, the edge of the globe to discover because we already arrow. discovered Can you them. find the United States of America? I can see it on Ben now. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the most difficult one. Medium. Here. Hardest. And Which see if I can do this. Which ocean is east of North America? The Atlantic Ocean. Out of there we go. World. On so which if they can you find focus, both Chile and Brazil? If they focus mostly on the west, not a ton has changed. Maybe borders have changed a little bit. But if they start going into Europe and Africa and the Middle East, all of that America. is by different With names you know, and different you feel on top uh, of the world. borders. Come on, smart star. And this is another great example of them not using the screen properly. If he was gonna blow up, he should Which take up the entire screen. Has over half the people in the world living on it. Half the people in the world? Well, that would be the Asian continent. Where are you, Asia? Over here. Boy, that is a rough depiction and really inaccurate. Asia! You really know your way around the world. One more right and you'll get smart stars. So if Which they're only going to focus on Europe, Africa. Africa, and Asia, and Australia, I guess there probably isn't any real inaccuracies here other than the actual shapes Europe. they're depicting. Your knowledge of the world is flying high. So are your smart stars. Let's see, if that's the most uh, that it, it asks on the most difficult setting, then the geography is still good 20 years later. Which continent is to the west of Asia? Hmm. Let's see, to the west of Asia? Well, that would be Europe again. Unless you're going to say the Middle East. Nope. Europe. You really know your way around the world. One more right and you'll get smart stars. On which continent would you find koala bears and kangaroos? All right, how do we exit from this? Just click somewhere else. Phew, that was a stretch. It seems really strange that there isn't a second. Big thinkers thing. always reach for the star. So, unless I missed some things, it feels very much like there's a couple smart of chart. Your puzzles smart chart keeps track we've, of all the smart stars you ever earned. We've been shortchanged compared to the Big Thinkers Kindergarten. There was, seems like there was maybe three or four brain bank, activities here that were in the, the kindergarten version page. that don't get an equivalent or a replacement in this version. Uh, they're focusing here on computation. computation. Money in addition, fractions, time telling, phonetics, spelling, reading nouns and verbs. See, so there reading. is a reading you can nouns learn and verbs. about this in a book on the small library shelves. So there is a reading section, and I just missed it. Music creativity. And I've got a, quite a lot more stories than uh, than than I did in the first. Game There's because a lot of we the, can learn in our library. The difficulty settings, just being able to. Okay, I found it. Here's the book. Let's read a story. Let's see how Let's difficult these the stories are. Out. 
Some nouns and verbs are missing from this story. Help wow, me this pick is, some new ones. Looks terrible, Click on the green subtitles. words that say verb or noun. This looks like a then bug. fill the spaces with the right kind of words. Hmm. I haven't seen anywhere in this version of the game where the subtitles would actually help spell things. On the Slimy Slug's first day of first grade, he... We need a verb here. You can choose one from the list under me. He crawled slowly up the steps. And it replaced it here and here. Jackrabbit. Verbs are action words. Like run or throw. Let's see. Flew Woo! past at the speed A of... A noun goes here. Go ahead and pick one from the list under me. If I say speed of train, train. that's wrong. It should be speed of a train. And it doesn't correct that. So it's now teaching you bad grammar. Uh, which would have been inaccurate. Becky acts like, out all the verbs and nouns you pick. At the speed of a tuba, a common, a train, a house, a fork, a song, a sponge, a, a lunchbox. Any of these needed the, the word the A in front of it. <laughs> so they just wrote it poorly. Slimies. Nouns are the names of people, places, or things, like bed or school. So Slimies. What? Knocked Slimy's what out of his hand? Lunchbox? Lunchbox. And so I shot a jack his and flew. Uh, sorry, Jack shouted as he flew around, picking up uh, Slimy's lunchbox. Man, this is written terribly. And it's not me that's making it terrible. Slimy's. Let's see, and this should be hand, but it's that's not a option. Let's go for it. You can be my. Let's see, the nouns aren't changing. You can be my sponge if you want. Sponge, sponge. He held open the. See, and this just feels like it's broken. Pick a word from the list to put into the story. Song. As I read, watch for Becky. She's going to help us with the new words. Look the title of the story some is of the subtitles First are just Day totally of School. On Slimy Slug's first day of first grade, he Hurrah. slowly up the steps to school. Jack Rabbit passed at the speed of train. And knocked Slimy's lunchbox out of his hand. It's not Slimey lining up the words Jack either. And around, picking up Slimy's lunchbox. I'm Jack, he said, and shook Slimy's fork rapidly up and down. You can be my sponge if you want. He held open the door to their classroom, and they both. Crawl. Inside. Great story. The smart stars liked it too. An awful story, really. It, it has. It's badly. Bad grammar, bad written. I, now, this is one of the ones that I'd probably suggest not having a kid a do. Story. Let's turn the page and see if maybe we can find a better one. Like. So. Let's just see how many there are. Uh, I suppose you'd have to pause right now if you wanted to read all this, but as it goes. Which word do you want there? Hmm. Let's see. You've got four, five, six, seven, eight stories that you can do. Not enough, nowhere nearly enough. And because of the very first one having problems in End grammar story. and just not making any sense based on the verbs they offered you, that's certainly just gonna end up in nonsense stories that don't help very much as far as education. Um, and 
that's the problem with any edutainment softwares. They have to actually be factually accurate and educate because any bad information they learn and they reinforce, a child reinforces uh, through all of this is really just taking steps back and not going to be helpful. The last thing we need is is a kid going to first grade in school and putting in answers it was taught because of this game and being counted wrong and then being very upset about that because the information is old or wrong. Now, oldness for this doesn't seem to be a problem. And since we are very lacking in edutainment software, whatsoever and it's kind of important as it's a growing epidemic that kids actually know how to use a mouse and move the mouse around uh i would still say consider this game but of the big thinker series uh, both of them very loud very annoying a lot of talking uh no timer or lockout no lockout from them stopping them from quitting uh, it does have a star system so you can track their progress and all. You lose the ability to print, which I think might have been in the previous version. You seem to lose three or four activities from the kindergarten ones. I would definitely say maybe use, get the, if you aren't going to get them both, which you're probably getting both anyways on Steam, uh, I would say maybe just focus on the kindergarten one for two years and, uh, work your way through that and maybe if they get bored show them this one then maybe they'll be cool with it uh, again the parent is gonna have to put up with the noise and the music which you can't turn down uh, it's a shame that there aren't more modern games that try to do this but then again modern games that try to that the the modern games when it was 20 years ago they tried to make edutainment software didn't really make any money on it and in the end we kind of decided that it's better for kids to to do other activities than be in front of a computer to be educated uh, at a certain point we thought computers were gonna do all the education of of children and they would just uh, sit in front of the computers and there'd be virtual hologram teachers teaching everything but it just doesn't work that way the the child child human brain does not work that way uh, again it's kind of weird that this is dedicated to the memory of someone who died for a, a kids game but okay uh, nothing super wrong with this it's missing a pay a maze yeah it's missing a maze section, which kind of sucks, and it, it, there's no nothing that's just a 100% game. I think the Let's Explore series did a lot better job, even though it's for younger kids. Uh, I think Let's Explore has some just basic games. It does some basic spelling, uh, basic memory, basic finding objects. Uh, this feels too ambitious and just not enough entertainment in it. And there's obviously a lack of double checking and quality control here because we've seen the subtitles don't work in some places. The, uh, the audio would have totally annoyed any uh, quality assurance tester and they would, would have made a mention of it. Uh, the bad grammar in the stories should have totally been caught. Uh, so I'd still give this one a thumbs up but just barely. And boy are the credits just going forever here. You can see a lot of people worked on it, but very few people in any one department. Uh, and after this game, the only thing I can really say is you have the humongous point-and-click adventure games that uh, mostly are just games and very simplistic versions of point-and-click games uh, with no education 
uh, ideas behind them at all. And that's uh, Pajama Sam, Serious... Uh, no, not Serious Sam. That's a completely different uh, adult game series. Pajama Sam, Spy Fox, and Putt Putt, who's a car. Uh, and then Fuzzy Bear is another humongous one that has a couple of things that may not be on Steam right now. And Blue's Clues was another one that Humongous came out with, but the license and there's a and it has the old original owner of Blue as the character and they don't want to promote that since he passed away and they didn't want to make kids sad. Uh, at least that's what I think happened. That, that might be an urban legend actually. Uh, sees there's five teacher evaluators in this. Uh, it looks like it's going in circles, too. I would think of those five teacher evaluators, they own some of the problem here of not catching uh, bad grammar and issues like that, but everything else looks like it's factually accurate. Uh, but in the end, the education just becomes a little less fun every year, doesn't it? it just like school, it stops becoming about having fun and just saying the ABCs and counting to one, two, three, and it becomes what real effort and work to learn more complicated, more difficult tasks. Uh, they ask certainly a lot more of a first grader, apparently, according to this game, than they were asking of the kindergartners. But, overall, I'd still say it's, it's pretty good. That's gonna be it for this spotlight. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want to support me further, go to my main YouTube page. On the right is a button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. Also on my main YouTube page is a subscribe button and the bell you need to click next to it to get notifications and a playlist tab that has a playlist for every game I've ever covered. Finally, down below in the description box, I have links to all my social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Steam, and Battle.net. Please follow and friend me on all of those. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.